has continued. A secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. chatting with his gun sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. This looks really good. Splattered. in order of vintage like fine wines.
hero punch. Forward. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Cowboy Bebop. Press B to heal. That felt good. Uppercut. Most enemies can be uppercut. Hold RB for an uppercut. Keep hitting them. Got him. Cannon ball. Oh, Big Chief with a fucking nail in his head! Interrupting enemy attacks. Got it. Not good. Shit. Yeah, yeah.
No. Or at least it's a new checkpoint. You're not really doing much. That's not good. That was a close one. No! You little fucking worm! Get fucking sliced. I didn't fucking parry. I'm a fucking clown. Get chomped. That's annoying.
Nah, I still hit him. I still hit him. Not today. I don't fucking think so. responsible for the biggest delivery in gathering history remember when the dream of attending the gathering was just that wishful thinking but i am on my way soon to be hobnobbing with the creme de la creme the oldest the wisest the most powerful this is where it begins if i play this right in 100 years i'll be the one being catered to by human douchebags like you that's it for now i must bid you adieu there's still much to do, and I can't louse this up. Yours truly, Chester, the Catering King. All right. Yes. Fuck pistol with the motherfucker, let's go! Yeah! Who's next? The hand to hand combat is still satisfying. Body bag. Oh shit. Oh, he just is pace now. Holy shit. Let's go, big man. A little late on the parries. How do you like them apples? I bet one good punch could get me through. Fuck them doors. So this is like Indiana Jones, cowboy, vampire, western adventure. Got it. I'm on board with it. Okay, let's dance. I 
like it. I like it. The outfit's really cool, too. I'm taking it. Beautiful scenery. I can smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk. More money. Oh, it's up there. Come here. Hey, it's the dude. I'm stuck. There's a lot. First game in a while, you don't have to wait for a fucking loading screen to respawn. Nothing but good things. Oh god. there Oh god. So they get bigger. Well, that didn't work.
We got it. Fucking head off. Now I'm pissed. Then let's get that son of a bitch. The last melon. No rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. <laughs> That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, no Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Dip shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? Uh, have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> so our buddy here is Ed Edgar Gravener? Gavener? Uh, something like that. It's fucking badass. It plays like Gears of War. Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, sounds like I'm making sure fancy pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me. Nice rifle. Rentier rifle. That gathering won't find itself, you know. Move it. Right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, are you telling me it's not the booze? There goes your face. Weak spots. Oh. 
Can't go that way. Alright, I wanna look around for... Some loots. Oh, that's a big box. With 77 bucks and a Find new skin. Keepers. Nice. New skin. Oh. Oh, it's just the scarf. Huh. Okay. That was it. Family of Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. That is the way down. That's the only way to go. That's mine. Many coin. <laughs> like a whistler shoot out. I have to reload, not good. Clutch. Money. Anything else? Alright, so that's the way out. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's 
check around right here. Can't go up that way. Looks like you can, though. Dead end. Great. Huh? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little lighting to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Good day, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Switch. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bonham. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? Safe to say that my favorite move is the uppercut. It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology, instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. One of three notes for the mission.
lot of fat stacks of coin in here. In those chests. Is this the way? No. But I hear critters. Thousand, I leveled up. Leveling up is a thing in this game. Oh shit! Okay, a whole fucking tree. Chain of command. Chaining the next melee combo attack right when the previous one connects deals thirty percent increased damage. Pump jack. Dealing damage with the gauntlet reduces the cooldown of healing dispenser. Sounds like a good deal. Oh, the bar underneath the health is a glimmering. Let's go this way first. Oh, this goes up too. I already don't like that. Go this way. Can I go back though? Yeah. No. Oh, well, this seems. brothers and sisters we are not bred we are not born we come to life when we accept the gift of change our powers are many and they have served us well the art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy but i am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress sooner or later Human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Jesus. 
It's huge. When did they build this? And how? I don't think so. Anything hiding over here? This is where I would hide something. I can toss those guys! There's a lot going on. I'm getting good at this. Yeah. Okay. Got a few more to go. Is the gate open? Oh, up there. Must be the entrance. It's a fucking caca. No? Dead end? Where's the loot? Oh. We consider ourselves proud hunters. Predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve.
The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so, you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow your bastard greed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Daval, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... We force them to! Oh my god. That was a close one. Oh God. Oh Lord.
that's not good. That's not a good time to reload. Oh, wow, there goes your face. Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well. What are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. First spark. America! Fuck yeah! sends him golden toilet paper as long as it keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble feed him well we've got a lot of ground to cover tonight you're not staying for the presentation the whole institute is in town uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. My man just wants to retire. Holmes, good morning, sir. Any loot around here? Jesse Rancière, you're a chip off the old block. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Is he rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office. Take a gander around here. Hello, sir. Oh, Director there we Rent go. Here spared no expense to improve those gauntlets. Oh, officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but the truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. All right, files. Mr. Rent here. You remember me? You got something for me? No. Okay. From my first year of cadet training. I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. father in the Civil War right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness Central Virginia his life changed forever during that fight Highborn nearly killed him badly tore up his leg Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital but surgeon could only do so much after that dad could no longer function in the field Loving the background lore. Heavy as hell. Silver Gauntlet, 1883. Where the hell you been? I thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear? Graveners with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. This guy's a pussy. What about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Mr. Rentier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Crow. Crow, crow. Crow, crow. Yeah, it would have loved to have seen his face when you walked in with that gauntlet. <laughs> You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? We can upgrade thing. Oh! Wait, all right, hang on. Midair shot. So you buy these with coins. This is the rifle. Free bullet. 
Stores of bullets spent on it. I like that. How much? It's 2,600. That's going to come in handy. Call it. Do not disturb. Healing is followed up with a short five second invulnerability. Not enough coin. How much is it? Shit. buy that. That's the next one. Perks. That was it. So where's the presentation? Ah. Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub and father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. You can see by the look in his eyes he wasn't too happy about it. 